So yesterday I received the VinFast VF8 and today I'm going to take this car on an endurance test. I'm going to see if the advertised range is actually accurate or close to being accurate. Hello Tom, hello desde Mexico. I know about your success, about your YouTube channel that is growing, business channel in Vietnam. I am sure that you are going to be expanding and growing more and more because of your dedication, because of your ideas, and because of the high quality of this YouTube channel being used by many, many, many people. Saludos. Tomas. I am going to charge the car up to 100%. Right now it's at 95%. It is being charged as we speak. And then I'm going to take this car to Tai Nin, uh, where one of my customers is. And I'm going to go there and actually film their factory using my drones and then come back. So it's going to be about maybe. Uh, 140 kilometers to from here to go there and come back and also just for the record uh, We're going to drive not in eco not in normal. We're gonna drive in the sport mode, Okay, because I don't believe in uh, driving slow and uh, A real test of the range should be driving the car normally not like trying to squeeze every kilometer out of the, the battery by you know turning off the AC and driving like a turtle, right? I, I'm gonna drive the car normally so that we can extrapolate uh, an actual real range of a fully charged VFA. So as you can see, uh, we're gonna set the uh, climate control to about 16 degrees, and the fan will probably be set at three. So that's how I feel comfortable in the car. Do you feel comfortable in the car? Okay, and to make us feel even more comfortable, you know, I'm going to set my butt, uh, I'm going to set my, my butt to minus three. That means I'm going to have a really cool butt. What about you, Miss Fong? You like a cool butt or a hot butt? You like normal butt. Okay, so we'll keep you at zero. So I, I like a chili butt, so that's why I'm at like three on this side, okay? Oh, I already feel like my butt is really chilly. So I'm starting at zero kilometers. It's gonna calculate my average speed kilometer per hour. And also it's gonna calculate uh, my usage, my average usage of electricity in kilowatt per hour per 100 kilometers. So we're gonna look at this number after our trip and to see like what the actual, actual range of the VFA Plus. So as we are just leaving Bingham uh, uh, in District 2, we're already down to 98% in terms of battery and we have traveled so far less than one kilometer. So it's not looking really good, but I believe in fast. I, I think we're gonna make it. Miss Fung, yes. you'll have to push car. <laughs> All right? Okay. Really, you will? Okay. You're the best assistant ever because you'll do anything. Okay. Right, you'll do anything. Okay. Including push car. Okay, I will try. You will try? <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna drive like a normal person. Actually, no, I'm gonna drive more like a crazy person. That, that's my normal, right? This one. You think? Uh, you like it? You like it? Uh, wow. Love it, man. Love it. Uh, you like it? Yeah. Shit, that's a lot of power. Is this more power than, uh, than the ML63 or less? Yes. More power. You feel this is like more power, right? Yes, it's more but power. But actually, this is a slower car. It's a slower car. But it feels like so much power, right? Yes. Ah! Yes? Yes. Okay. okay. And now, we're actually getting very congested. So this is, of course,
course going to impact our range. After 5.3 kilometers, we are already down to 60, well actually 96%. So, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? What do you think? He don't know. As here we have, we have one house category in a way. Wow. No. On the way. Wait. No, you just get much more. Hey, been fast. And come to. Cảm ơn anh chị đã quan tâm nhưng em không cần ăn cơm mà chỉ cần sạc điện thôi. What did she say? Oh really? She understands me. We can communicate. Is this car comfortable? Yes, it's better than the last. The last meaning E34. Yes. Why? What do you? Why do you like this car more than the E34? The first, How is it more comfortable? The first thing is the smell. Smell. The smell is it better. Yes, it is. I don't think it is better. I think I still smell plastic. But anyways, and what else? Bigger space, right? Like the seat is bigger. Yeah, there's more space. You like more space. What else? What else do you like about the VFA? Oh, you like big display. You like everything big. Why do you like big? Big is better. Big is better? Yeah. Always? Yeah. Okay. almost full acceleration so after almost 30 minutes of traveling now it is 8.06 and we have traveled 11.3 kilometers and we have used up about 6% of our battery and uh, of course we're in this congested traffic that's probably why you know it's not good for our electricity usage and we're burning about 35.7 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. I'm hoping that it will get better once we get out of the city. So today is the second day of me owning this car and uh, I have to say the car drives good. Uh, it feels like a big car. It feels like a full-size SUV actually. Uh, just the way that, you know, the, the front, uh, the front uh, looks big. It feels like you like big, right? You like everything big, right? Yes. It, 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 it looks, it's like a big car, so it feels like a big car. And the driving experience actually feels quite good. When I say quite good, I mean that the suspension is on the softer side. It's more about the comfort than being sporty. And uh, it's not like a Mercedes air suspension. It's not soft like that. It's still more stiff than than an air suspension, but uh, it feels comfortable. Uh, I think much more comfortable than the E34. The steering control is actually very precise, very, very uh, sharp, meaning that small input will allow you to change directions. And it's very precise so that you basically just have to aim where you wanna go and you go there and it's very straight. In that sense, it's it's a lot like the E34. Um, it's a very, very good driving car, I would say. Plus, it feels fast. It feels fast. It's really not that fast. I mean, 5.5 seconds to 100 is not a fast car, but it feels much faster than that. Do you agree, Miss Form? You just say yeah to it. Yes. It, it does feel really fast. Give me a warning, it says the speed limit here is 10. Tell me to slow down. Really? The speed limit here is 10? I think there's something wrong. So after a full hour travel, right now it's 8.30. Uh, we started at 7.30. You can see that we've used about 12% of the battery. And uh, the range. 7.2 kilometers we have so far traveled. The average power usage is about 33.3 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. 
So given those numbers, I think we'll be fine. I don't think this form here need to push car. I'll update you again in another hour or so. One hour later. Uh, Fong is going to get me some coffee. Bye. Bye. So she's gonna get me some coffee and we're gonna talk a little bit more about this car. Earlier we said something about the E34. Uh, that is actually uh, Vinfast's first electric car only available in the Vietnam domestic market. Outside of Vietnam, uh, people think VF8 is the first Vietnamese electric car, but actually it is not. Uh, E34 is the first one. But I would never take that car on a long trip like this one because that car has an advertised range of uh, 300 kilometers but really I can only get about 150 uh, real range out of a full charge so I would not take that car out for a uh, long trip but this one I really want to test it because it has an advertised range of 420 kilometers and I want to see how close it can get to the advertised range that's why the day after receiving this car I'm putting it on a range test I'm hoping to see some really good results. I'm hoping it's much closer to the advertised range, but given the current numbers, I don't think so. I'm guessing about 300 kilometers, but we'll do the actual calculation at the end of the trip, and then we'll, we can report an actual range. And I really need my Vietnamese coffee. I, mean, I haven't had any coffee this morning. Mm. Mm. Oh, Vietnamese iced coffee. Mm. Mm. Okay, now I'm awake. Ready to go? So we're gonna grab some food and uh, we've traveled 54.9 kilometers. We have 78% uh, uh, battery left and uh, our average usage of power is about 29.4 kilowatt per hour. So it's actually looking pretty good. Uh, I don't think this phone needs to push car anymore. So the very fast VFA. I say it's a really sexy looking car. It looks very muscular and uh, even in Vietnam, this is still quite rare because they have only released less than a thousand uh, cars in Vietnam and uh, I believe I'm one of the first people to get it. When I uh, received the car from the dealership, uh, even the dealership doesn't know how to set up this car so uh, it's like still relatively new here in Vietnam and I imagine it's uh, even more so in the rest of the world, in North America, for example. I like it, it looks really, really sexy, and it drives really, really good. I, I think this is my new favorite, it's my new favorite car. It's gonna be my new daily driver from this point on. So we're arriving at the TTC Industrial Zone. So this is a huge industrial park, uh, you know, housing many of the biggest industries in Vietnam, in Thailand. Go see our customers who is here and apparently they make straw and they have a huge factory here making straw and supplying it to Vietnam and the rest of the world and I'm gonna go there and film their factory with my drone that should be exciting keep going straight yes keep going straight all right then this is it yeah all right we're here So we have traveled from Ho Chi Minh City to Tai Ninh and we have traveled a total of 62 kilometer. It says so right here, 62. And we have used up uh, you know about 25% of the battery. And let's look at the kilowatt usage here. About 30.3 uh, kilowatt hour kilometers. So I feel pretty safe about summary of uh, the usage and it also give you an extrapolated uh, range, actual range when you get back home. So this factory is a uh, foreign direct investment from China. They set up a factory here again yeah, making plastic uh, products. Uh, I assume domestic uh, consumption as well as international export. And actually our mission here is to help them export. And uh, we're making a movie for them, but actually that, that's only a very small part of what we do. And we're just doing that to help them. Uh, our 
our, our goal is to help uh, Vietnamese businesses export across the world. Uh, and uh, we are affiliated with Alibaba. And that's how we help them. I am very impressed with their factory. They use a lot of uh, automation. I can see that their people are very professional and they work very hard. And uh, everything is you know, very well organized. Very impressed. And as the U.S.-China trade war rages on, you know, uh, we're going to see a lot more factories being set up in uh, Vietnam. And Vietnam is going to be uh, a manufacturing hub of the world. It is inevitable. It'll happen. It's going to happen in the next probably three to five years. We're going to see a lot of economic growth here in Vietnam. So if you ever wonder, uh where they get the cutlery for Panda Express, they make it here in Vietnam. back to Ho Chi Minh City and uh, right now it's 1.47 in the afternoon and we have used up about 40% of our battery and we have traveled almost 100 kilometers so based on these numbers uh, we can sort of extrapolate that uh, uh, the full range for a fully charged BFD Plus driving like Tom Hay me will be about 250 kilometers but we'll have the final numbers once we get to the Alright, so we are back in Ho Chi Minh City and we're going to get into our office building and once we get to the office building then we will look up the final numbers and conclude for today what the actual range for a fully charged VFA so uh, finally we're parked in the office building here, arriving at Ho Chi Minh City. And as you can see, we have used up about 45% of the battery. And we have traveled uh, 140 kilometers. And our, our power usage is about 30.3 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. Traveling speed for this trip is about 33.4 kilometers per hour. So, based on that information, we can sort of extrapolate that a fully charged VF8 Plus will give you a range of about 250 or 260 kilometers. All right, and that is if you drive like me and you don't care about conserving energy, you don't care about trying to save electricity, you just drive like a crazy mad man, then, then yeah, you'll get about 250 and 260. But if you actually try to conserve, like for example, uh, driving the eco mode, trying to save electricity, not go as fast or crazy like Tom, then uh, then you probably can squeeze like 300 or even 350 kilometers out of, out of a uh, full charge, I believe. So of course, it's still short of the uh, 430 kilometers advertised range, but that's expected. I think if you can get anywhere from 250 to 350 kilometers out of, out of a full charge, that, that is pretty good, that's pretty sweet. And I think with the VF8, uh, the range anxiety would go away because before when I was driving the VinFast E34, you know, I worry about running out of electricity always looking for charging stations but I think with the VF8 I would not have to worry as much so look forward to more reviews of the VF8 plus uh, coming to this channel and I plan to do a lot more reviews a detailed in-depth review uh, on this reviews because nobody's paying me to do these things and uh, so take some fucking action and don't be a fuck talk